Hi, this is Christine for Trinity Stamps. I'm going to show you how to take a card and make it into a lantern, paper lantern. You're going to want to take a heavy cardstock piece of 8.5 by 11 and cut it into two pieces that are 8.5 by 5. You're going to want to take those two pieces and score at 4 inches and then 4 inches and then there should be an overhang of half an inch. So we need to make it this big because I want to fit this free stamp that Trinity is giving away with purchase in the frame. I'm also going to do the same thing with a heavy vellum piece because I want to use vellum so that we can see the seam and the sentiment very easily. So again, you're going to want a 5 by 8.5 piece and to score at 4 inches and 4 inches and, and have an overhang of half an inch. So here I've die cut out a window and I want to use part of Trinity Stamps castle die set. There's some beautiful trees in there and a hill border and I'm going to cut that out of the heavy card stock as well so that we can decorate two sides of the lantern with this seam. And the other sides are going to be with uh, the other side is going to be a sentiment, and one side we're going to leave untouched. So here I have the vellum, and I'm going to show that you can um, you can heat emboss on it. It is Brazil vellum that is, I believe, 80 pound. And I'll have more details on my blog, the specifics, as well as the dimensions of the lantern. So here I've just covered the stamp with Versamark ink and I'm going to stamp it really well. Now here I've added embossing powder in a silver and I'm showing this in a fast speed. It actually I'm showing it at eight times as fast as it normally takes. You have to have some patience for this. Um, you don't want to have, as you can see, it's starting to turn. You don't want to have the heating element in one spot. Uh, you want to keep it moving. And you just have to have a lot of patience. So here I have the final card. I've just embossed again on the front of the card, of an A2 card base, um, also with the silver powder. It's the same thing, so I didn't feel the need to show it. So here is the completely attached paper lantern to the A2 card base. So here I'm opening it up. And the final card panel, which has nothing on it, so um, is it adhered to the card base. And as you can see, there's plenty of room for lots of size candles in there. So here's the top view. I have a candle in there and I'm showing one of the scenes and then we're going to move to the front. Here is the embossed sentiment. So I hope you enjoyed today. There'll be more t details on my blog and thanks for stopping by.